Uganda is a country that has been blessed with a multitude of natural features from forests, hills, mountains, rift valleys, and of course, water bodies. Fishing is a major livelihood activity for many households in the surrounding areas as a source of food and income. Unfortunately, the high frequency of fishing, coupled with unchecked harmful methods used by some fisher folk, have proved detrimental to the ecosystem, instigating the need by the government of Uganda to intervene in the form of enforced regulations. Given the strong footing that fishing had in these communities, the cutting back of the fishing activities took a toll on the dependence of the industry as many were left without a source of survival. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, through a technical cooperation project called the Integrated Livelihood Support to Communities around Lake Victoria, carried out an intervention. We thought this project would provide alternative support to the people who have lost their fishing inputs, who have lost their source of livelihoods, and therefore they needed to start on something new as to support their families. In the wake of these setbacks, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, along with its partners, sought to provide sustainable alternatives for these communities to combat the threat. These organizations aimed to engage the community and work hand in hand with the people to build income generating activities that suit the community's strengths and needs. Our main objective was to identify groups, specifically we were more on women and youth groups that we can support with alternative source of livelihoods. Main alternative source of livelihoods that we identified, one of them was uh, people to engage in fish farming other than capture fisheries, that is on the decline. Then the other thing was the, the little fish that people were capturing, we needed to have them well utilized and therefore our purpose was to improve on post-harvest handling. The other area that we also looked at was to engage a few of them, especially the youth who wanted to remain in fishing. We needed them to do legally accepted fishing uh, methods. Fawe no yatsangira nebatu wo mukisa okutuongera mu amanyi okwekulakulanya. Nebatu wa obutimba nebatu wa yingini nebatu wa neliato. Nga group twafuna obutimba nkaga. Project ya tute ya tule tera kejezi ne batu wa emere batu we emere ne batu ka we bakoma nti akusanta ko betwa kafuna twa katema tema ne tu ne tugabana ko ngaba member endala tene tuzam going into something and keeping there is one thing we have ensured that one they have, for example those who have gone into cages they are still there those who have gone to fishing they have been there but as if that is not enough they have diversified. After getting money from here, because you can't expand indefinitely, after getting money, for, for example, in cage farming, they have invested it elsewhere. Others have even put a revolving fund for themselves, where they put the money and someone can go for, for kind of a, a soft loan. Then he invests it elsewhere, he brings it back and it remains their money. Faka Center, I took a take on TV and got a member, they took a wall. Tutula Nenjigula of Kadebuviri, Nechkum. 
Nengo mao, nengo jamu ili sente ndala, nengo la ndala. Sisi yoni bili mimi tuwa lomkaga. Yerao, yo, uliwichi, ndete li mitu alo, itana. Kati ninawe vistolo yibye nunda. Ninawe embizi, embuzi. So, kena dalo kweba za eshitongo ya chafau, habatu wa evita andalo kwetu wa nika mkene, ube milimu jafeja kwa nika mkene wanukumu alo. Batu linyiso muti indo. Kwa ya nika nga mkene oyo wansi kutaka. Nga mbutufe beye ya wansi intono nyobo, jigira ganyane nyane beye ya wagulu. Eyo kuchitimba, enja ulo weri. Ilanga fawe chibina, chatu wa amanyi, ila tufuna mwaka sente. Kwa mkene wa wansi asobolo kubanga gulo mtu wa gumu wengu mibili, ngatoo kuchitimba wa gulo wengu mtu wa longena. Ndewe, kakati fwe tuwafu nevitimba chatu ya amba nye, lo mtindo tuwa guli nyesa, mkene afuru mwa wakulia kubanga wa subuzibaji ya unewa muno nyanga noru sitariwo. Ila tuweba zanyo fawo lecho chia tuko leda, tufuna muka senti. The activities within the different initiatives were possible due to the dedication and zeal of those involved at all the different stages of the process, and sure enough, results were yielded. project <laughs> Betwari undebye nyanja, nga gulupu, tuwa gabana. Betwari gabana, nenzimba, nengula solo, nge mbizi, nukwele la habana. These people have benefited through capacity building. They have acquired the knowledge. They now know how to do fish farming in the cages at least, in Kalangala. Then the groups in Masaka know how to do fish farming in the pond systems. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, and the Government of Uganda, through the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, have given many in these fishing communities the resolve to hope for a better future. <laughs> The most outstanding achievement is that actually we were looking at removing people to think that only lake fisheries is what they can do. These are areas where we need to put a lot of effort because we are seeing more and more people now consuming the silverfish, which has not been the case. Uh, improving the nutrition and the di uh, household diet. So uh, this would go a long way in addition to the financial bit of it. FAO, I would like to thank them because they picked me from the ground and made me someone who is responsible in the community. It was a platform for me to change my life. And right now, I'm, I'm a councillor, Kalanga Tauni Council, because, because of our Uganda. People, they, they look at me as a good example. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, believe in the resilience and strength of the human spirit. It is this belief that inspired the initiatives and keeps driving us to do our part in lending a hand wherever we can, so we can all grow together for better production, better nutrition, a better environment and better life.